Taught uh, two blades how to fly, huh? Fuck you, two blades. <laughs> yes. Come no, I'm not going to places like that. <laughs> oh, here he is. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. Even right here, outside this this little bar, we could be like chilling right here. Yeah, this one works. Having, having my sushi. Oh yeah, we can have sushi bar. Oh, uh, these seats are a little too close, man. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, you, you gotta enable fly mode to get into the seats. Then you can be behind the bar. Hey, what's up, guys? I hit you. Didn't, didn't let me. Isn't Zeke fly? Huh? Isn't that Zeke? I hate Zeke. No. Oh, shit. G, right? Mm -hmm. It is G, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this one's cool because look at it, they got like little sakis here. <laughs> and ramen. <laughs> yeah. This one's oh. cool. <laughs> All right, we can we can sit here. Oh, look at these, yeah. look at these aliens. <laughs> oh, Over here, not to the super alien. cool. Yeah, the aliens are attacking. <laughs> <laughs> The great ones. Yeah, I have a story uh -huh. about yeah about abduction. It was crazy. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should write a maybe an episode about it. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, because it's it's super scary. <laughs> Dude, I have some uh, some really weird um, sleep paralysis like stories. Yeah. I don't even know what to make of those ones. <laughs> They're just too creepy sometimes. <laughs> but one, yeah. one time, um, I, it was at the beach, and we are there late at night. And we take like half a uh, eighth of mushrooms, like me and this girl, uh, Sheena. Anyways, so we're there, and, we're, and then we get like stopped by a beach patrol. So then we have to go back to her car, and we're like, we trip out and the back of her wagon and we we're like kind of paranoid that the beach patrol were gonna come and like arrest us <laughs> but anyways in the morning i left some stuff at the beach so i go and like smoke a joint and then go chill at the beach and my friend's following me and i'm just chilling i'm like what's that over there like uh, where the water was at and then we get closer to the water and if, at first I thought it was like, you know, like uh, buoys or whatever, and they have like little lights. And that's what I thought at first. And then I got closer and closer and it was foggy because it was the morning. And I, mm -hmm. I swear when we got close enough to see it, it was floating on top of the water. And it was like these um, liquid orbs that I had like colors. <laughs> and then I was just like, what the fuck is that? And then I, I turned to my friend and I'm like, are you seeing this? And she's like, Dad, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but I was like, what? And I, I, I'm, yeah, just, I'm, yeah. still, I'm still walking towards it like like a fucking moth to a flame. And then my friend's like pulling me. And then I like kind of like get out of my little trance. And I'm like, okay, let's leave. And then we leave. And I'm like, I still don't know what the fuck those things were. But it was... Yeah. And, you know, I forgot what movie I saw. And it was, I swear to God, it was like the same shit. Uh... It was a recent movie too, some sci-fi movie. But anyways, mm. well, that, it, uh, no, yeah. I, I don't know. I remember in my experience. I, I the only thing I had was like like weed. We were oh, smoking okay. weed, uh -huh. and yeah, it was crazy. I went to the bathroom and 
I got abducted. <laughs> yeah. yeah that was crazy. Like the light and then you know, and then you're missing time. Man, man, it's fucking crazy because I went out my body but through my throat. Oh you know? Okay. I I I got out like uh through my mouth. That sounds like ayahuasca. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what happens, and then I was in this ship. Okay. It was all dark, and this this creature, like this creature, I have a picture of it. Actually, I found it. I when I see it, I I I say, oh, this this were the guys, <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah, I was super scary, you know, like super. I was afraid, and and yeah. and. Then I started, you know, like to pray to God. You know, I was this guy that gonna kill me. Oh, and, and the guy, and the guy, <laughs> and the guy, this did one of the of the of the creatures told me like, no, even God can listen to you here. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> They, oh, took, they, took, they took you beyond, beyond the vacuum. Excuse me, can I leave? <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm fucked. So then I go back to to the room to to my I was in my brother's apartment and I went back and I I was I watched my body and I get into it and I didn't did you know I couldn't feel my like my feet for a while mm-hmm. until like to the third or fourth step I did I I, I make so yeah I, I was okay I'm back and <laughs> and, mm-hmm. and and then my brother approached to me and told me man what's going on what's happening and I was like man this is a, this is something I have to figure out myself you know like <laughs> Don't get involved. <laughs> That's what I told him. Like, man, don't get involved. This is I, I, I'm I'm gonna take uh, uh, take care of it. And then I went back to the bathroom and got abducted again. Oh shit! At this time, I was like super pissed. Mm-hmm. So I so you know these guys are super powerful. They can read in my mind and everything. So I came back like you know fuckers. If I'm gonna die, I don't give a shit. You know, let's fight. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I'm man. Super scared about me. Oh yeah. Like me. Yeah, yeah. And I realized, oh, I'm not. I'm not weak. I'm. I'm yeah. powerful. Yeah. All right. Like I was like shining or something, and they they you know they they just like let me let let me go yeah. after that. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. I tell I tell this story about uh, about this story about uh, uh, to a friend. He told me like he told me like, man, what what are you doing? Getting into private meetings without invitation. <laughs> <laughs> I just like it. I enjoy doing these things. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Maybe that it was super strong or something. I don't know. But that was it, you know. Anything else? Weed from a bunk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was fuck. It was scary. It's definitely like um, weird shit like that, you know. Like um, there's this one book, and I, I, I reference it, and like kind of this is why we do the show. <laughs> there's there's because there's like. My weirdest experiences, like, have been, like, in these, like, half, um, like, dream states. Like, you know, I was talking about, like, sleep paralysis, like, and, like, I read this one book one time, and the best uh, explanation I, or the best thing I got to it was, the like, the old um, um, Arabic tales of the jinn, which is, is, like, later becomes genie stories, but, like, the jinn were, like, these, like, like, like weird plasma like shadow beings that like like do stuff to you but the thing is interesting because like in this book it was it was doing like this like um kind of like historical cultural like snapshot of like the history like oh back in the day they would say like 
this would happen. And then, like, you know, in modern times now, it's kind of like these um, alien abduction stories sound very similar to, like, these stories or these stories. And, like, same same stuff about, like, light, uh, missing time and shit like that. You know what I mean? And then kind of like what you were saying um, within the vacuum, like, I, I at first I was, like, scared. And then, like, later I was just, like, getting annoyed because, like, they felt uh, they these these uh, for lack of a better term I'm calling them gin uh, were like like um, like they were like it felt like they were performing surgeries on me <laughs> like my dream body and I'm just like what the fuck like stop doing it oh my god and, no and, and then like and then I'm like and then it took like a like all my attention to like break away from it and then I finally like get get out of it but like there's like this like weird like tension of them like keeping me there and then like one time i i remember it was so weird because i was like like okay i'm gonna like interact with them and see kind of like fuck it whatever like okay i, I can't do anything but i'm gonna annoy the shit out of it like well, hey fuck you what do you guys want you know <laughs> and then and then it was kind of funny because then like they they like turn my head and it feels like they whisper and then they say something about you're lucky to have a god and then, like, I break out of it, and I wake up again, and I go, I don't even really believe in God. <laughs> and I'm like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, you're, you're tripping me out even more. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, it, it was like an instinct, you yeah. know, like, I, I was in that position, and I say, like, what the hell can I yeah, do? Yeah, yeah. Wow, tell me. <laughs> and the guy was reading my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it was kind of funny, too, because, well, I used to read a lot of Jack Kerouac, and he wrote he wrote this really kind of, like, it's actually, he didn't write it as a book, but later, after he dies, they published, like, his notebook, and it's called, like, The Sum of Dharma, and it's basically, like, his notes on, like, meditation, and, like, reading, like, uh, Zen Buddhist stuff, and um, he comes up with this, like, mantra, it says, like, everything is all right forever and ever. And he like he repeats it to himself a lot and he like it kind of like talks about like you know going into meditation and being in the void and then like that fear the fear of of nothingness <laughs> the, mm -hmm. the fear mm -hmm. and trembling and and that's why he came up with that mantra and so something like what you said like i i had like this fear and then what you were saying in your head like prayer like i went i went to like that mantra and i was like everything's all right forever and ever, ever, ever. and then like that was like me like surrendering to whatever this was because it seemed so um, other. Like everything up until that point always seemed like a dream where it was like a projection of my mind. But this saw, this seemed like outside of my mind. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck is this shit? You know what I mean? Like, I, I, like, I didn't read about the djinn and then had the experience. I had the experience and then like searched and was like, okay, this is the best explanation mm -hmm. I could get to. <laughs> it's like oh this is this is definitely <laughs> off my my frame of reference and like uh a positive one was uh, uh the okokan dream where uh, that uh, ancient mind god of poetry came to me like in a fedex box <laughs> and they taught me how to yeah. do like a ritual yeah. which was kind of weird but but i still like i like in those hairy times of like sometimes i find myself in weird areas of the dreaming and then I, I do like this little ritual that he taught me. <laughs> it, it, it works. It works all the time. <laughs> uh, if it works, why not? Why not? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but definitely um, write down like like you know uh, your your experience, and then we could like morph that into like you know maybe Mike has a has a a crazy dream, and then like. Yeah, yeah, something crazy. Oh, yeah. I, I remember I had an experience, but I was a, I was a kid. I was playing soccer at the garage okay. in my house. And then it was very, it's not a long story, but then I feel this presence behind me. I was like uh, just playing around with the ball. And I feel like this presence behind and I, 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 I watch behind me and this was uh i didn't even know about it when when that happens but it was like medusa yeah, <laughs> That's crazy. yeah it was this lady with the hair like moving around and she has no feet and and a, a long dress like colorful dress oh, yeah. 
but the eyes the eyes were white completely white and and she opened her mouth and it was like white also but it was scary <laughs> so i i run you know through the to the kitchen and i told my grandma like grandma i just watched this and she told me like ah oh, that's nothing i see i i, I watch a, a little kid running around this this kitchen all the time ah, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy yeah it was great i i i think it was it was medusa because it was it, it, it looks like but I, i really don't know but it was weird yeah. <laughs> It was definitely weird. Uh, that house, that house was was completely haunted, and everybody knew it. You know, well, it yeah. was an old. House. Yeah, yeah. Well, in, in that one book that I was kind of mentioned, um, one of the lessons of like Toltec dreaming, for lack of a better word, is like it tells you to like like sleep slash meditate on like every part of your house, and like what you realize is like there's different vibrational energy levels and there's there's actually like one one position in my house that i don't like sleep anymore because that's where like the craziest shit has ever happened to me in my dreams like it's like a like a weird portal to, that's, that's, to intense level that's what the cat does oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah she's sleeping everywhere <laughs> dude <laughs> this one time uh because you know back in the egyptians they they view cats as like a uh, divine right and so so you know i was listening to this podcast and then one time this guy makes this joke about like he thinks cats you know when they sleep they teleport and they're like other cats and, <laughs> and so like there's like just like like how cats are like probably like you know doing different things in their mind like beyond like what what we could even comprehend <laughs> oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah they, they, they <laughs> you don't know their life <laughs> they they live uh, more when they're sleeping maybe <laughs> they yeah. do many things yeah That's crazy shit. yeah this 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 cat came alone you know like she just appeared and <laughs> stay <laughs> oh Yeah, I didn't adopt her. Well, I had to because she didn't. She didn't want to go. She, did, yeah, <laughs> she just took over your house. She just yeah, and then she's the owner of the house now. <laughs> oh my god, this is my spot. Mike, have you been watching um, um what do you call it? Alien Resident? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one's good. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah. It's kind of yeah I've been keeping up. Because they they talk about like different alien races, <laughs> which I find kind of interesting. Yeah, the greys, and then and then they had this like weird um, bird one, the a aliens, the aliens. Mm. I don't know, the bird ones, yeah. the, the ones from yeah, Saturn. Yeah, yeah. From yeah. Saturn. <laughs> I don't think they go. Yeah, I don't think they say where they're from. Yeah. He just like talks about them in general, and then like it's just funny that like the I, I just like the kid. Oh yeah, he's yeah. <laughs> he's, he's the new alien hunter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> But the, the the thing too is like they like a couple people get abducted and they're like get slowly getting their memories or they they don't know why like they're like freaking out or whatever. It's kind of funny. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, to, to amplify the context about my experience, I I think that actually i went into a private meeting and they they were they were totally cool you know they just <laughs> were like what the hell is this guy doing here and <laughs> and i i was there and i got scared but they were cool they they i don't know they had these they had like you know the feeling i got from them is like they were from from a dimension where They were like carnivores, like you know, like they eat each other <laughs> to survive, <laughs> or something. like you know, like the imagine the the most dangerous mafia guy. Mm -hmm. That's nothing, yeah, you yeah. know. That's, these guys are like super, super way 
uh, more like, I don't know, like into the dark side of things. I don't know. Like super, yeah, yeah, like dangerous, like, you know, it was scary. But the presence, you know, the feeling, yeah, maybe yeah. it was me, my interpretation of it. I, they did nothing to me. They just observed. Yeah. And the guy told me that the, the God couldn't listen to me there. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it was it was weird. It was weird. 